If you're somebody who does a lot of traveling or goes on rough streets, definitely get these. If your stock wheels aren't that good, definitely get these. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a review on the Cloud Wheel Donuts. It's going to allow you to put Cloud Wheels on your hub motors before I guess they were only for belt drive boards. So these have actually sold out quite a bit. Initially I bought some belt drive kit, I'm not sure, and it came with four of these. And so I ended up putting two of these on the back wheels because they are not hub motors. And then when I was trying to get the donuts, the actual things that I need, they only had them in orange. So I have orange in the front and red in the back, but I don't really care as long as they're the same size and they're the same wheel. And I'm colorblind too, so it doesn't matter as much to me. But anyways, guys, this is a very interesting product. I had no idea really what to expect. A buddy of mine, Ryan, had these, but he had them on his little um, X-Way mini board. I had really never tried the board with and without it. Very interested to see just what some premium level wheels would do. I mean, if you're looking into some aftermarket wheels, this is probably one of the top ones that pop up when I see little videos and stuff most of the time people are using these cloud wheels and these are the back wheels the actual donuts are on the front of my board i'll try to put some footage in here while i'm doing this review so again i ordered the wrong thing i don't know if you buy the the donuts if you have to buy two more i don't know how that even works because i only bought the two donuts after i had bought this four so i just want to put that in there the setup of this was a little bit rough a little bit infuriating but eventually i did get it it was interesting because i wanted to set these up so bad but i was in such a frustrated mood it was like i almost knew that if it wasn't going to be super super easy that i was going to be frustrated so it ended up taking me probably about an hour and a half to two hours of this i almost gave up a few times but i had just one more thing that i thought it could be i double checked and eventually i got them going or just for one donut you have 10 little tiny parts and they have these little washers that are so 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 tiny i mean even if you cleared off a, a workspace pretty good but there was other cluttered things in the room if you smack one of these things it's gone so it actually did take a long time to set up it was a little bit frustrating but now pretty much got it i think some people need to do a tutorial of it maybe i'll do a tutorial i'm pretty sure there's going to be some out there but when i looked it up i could not find one without further ado let's jump into the pros of these wheels the pros is that it is pretty much great for mild to moderate kind of street conditions or these are labeled as all-terrain wheels but I really wouldn't classify them that way they're kind of more of light street wheels in my opinion it is very nice because most of the time when I use these when I'm just traveling places you know maybe eight to nine out of ten times the road is not smooth you know it's rough whether it's cracks whether it's anything you know anything in the road it is mostly rough so having something that kind of smooths out the roughness and makes it feel more just smooth overall is really really nice i really do appreciate this great for street wheels not insane street if your street is completely beat up again these are not all terrain wheels these are not for like the sand or the grass or anything like that in my opinion they're just for mild street wheels but i did notice definitely some less chatter it definitely feels more smooth they have like a dampening core in there i don't really know how damp they can get the donuts because the donuts are kind of like a sleeve they don't have the full dampening core like these do but so far everything feels good i was noticing a lot less problems with rocks when you go under rocks it is going to shoot it under your board it's not like it's going to just negate rocks altogether but i would notice on my normal street wheels when i was going if i would hit these little star shaped rocks any sort of slow speed it could completely stop my board and i have to jump off and it was really really annoying and so far that has not happened with this it just seems to generally handle rocks a lot better because it doesn't have that one one smooth surface to stop it I do really appreciate that the main pro of this is that most streets aren't smooth when you're traveling places it's just probably a little bit nicer a little bit more cushiony to use these and they're a little bit bigger than most size wheels these are the 105s they do make like the 120s i think i would only want the 120s if i had like a really really powerful board but i do really like those 105s they are very very nice so jumping into the cons of these wheels it was funny before i get into the cons somebody on my instagram i think his name is like eastgate boys or something i'll i'll link his instagram there but i posted online that i was ordering these and he wrote me just paragraphs and paragraphs about why these aren't that good and all the little problems that you have with them and I do kind of see where he's coming from but I just thought it was funny it's like oh I pull the trigger and somebody has all these issues with him right away I'll try to put what he was saying on Instagram on this video I'll be pretty
pretty funny. I'll try to link them down there as well. But for the cons that I noticed so far, it is less smooth when the streets are really smooth. So if the streets are perfect, this is gonna feel like you're all you're going over it's a little bit of something, a little bit rough. So I did notice that and I was kind of like weird right away. You you hop on it and it's like, oh wow, it doesn't even feel as smooth. But that's right away on something perfectly smooth. Like I was saying, if it has any sort of chatter or anything else, it's actually a lot better. So then I also noticed that it uses more battery. Now I do need to test this a little bit more, you know, doing something to where I would barely see one bar off. I was seeing two bars, things like that. I used to think it was a lot it was taking off my battery, but now it just seems like a decent amount. But I do want to say that it is noticeable. If you're somebody who has a pretty weak Eastgate battery as it is, I don't know about recommending these because it definitely is going to cut off your battery more i do want to say on the more expensive brands the batteries are getting really big if you can go maybe 15 miles or so on your board then you should be able to be good with this but if you're somebody who's like struggling for range this is definitely something to consider there was less acceleration now i actually fell recently before i was using the cloud wheels and i kind of have that mental block in my head to where it's like i just don't really want to go fast unless i have full gear on so i've gone really really fast in this but i haven't just been like a speed demon as crazy as I can. I've really been fast, but just not maxed out. Apparently these increase your top speed too. That's kind of crazy, but I haven't been able to test that. And I do notice that the acceleration is noticeably a little bit less, but my board, I have the Backfire G3. The Backfire G3 already had pretty good power and pretty good range. Doesn't really matter as much. I do want to say that it does kind of mess with the acceleration. So if you're somebody who already accelerates really low, it's going to be worse. So it's something to consider. Do you have plenty Plenty of acceleration and plenty of battery. It's not an all-terrain tire. They say it is, but in my opinion, it is pretty far from an all-terrain tire because all-terrain you think of, you know, grass, you think of sand. This is really just mild street conditions. I've been on streets that are like insanely beat up to where I wouldn't want to take these on it, but any sort of mild street conditions, that's kind of what these wheels are for. Who do I recommend this for? This is gonna be very rider dependent. I would say if you ride on a lot of rougher streets a lot, I would definitely consider these. If your stock wheels are kind of cheap, like one of my buddies, I don't really wanna say what board he had, but he had a board that was really, really good, but the wheels seems kind of average. He was kind of unsure, do, do I order more wheels? Do I just get rid of the board or whatever? In his case, I would definitely buy the cloud wheels if you're entry level wheels aren't that good, but your board is really good. It's got a lot of good specs, 100% pick these up. If your range and acceleration isn't very good, I probably would try and skip on these, but this is a pretty interesting product. I would probably say that I like the purchase. I would say that it has more pros than cons for me. There is a lot to these wheels. So like I was saying, if I had like a different board, like regular Meepo V3 without the extended range, this would probably kill the range. It really is rider dependent. I actually like these. If you're somebody who does a lot of traveling or goes on rough streets definitely get these if your stock wheels aren't that good definitely get these but anyways guys that's been my little entry level review trying these for a week or two right now i'll be on here as soon as i pass a certain like level of miles on my board i'll definitely come back on here and do a little recap but anyways guys do you like cloud wheels have you tried cloud wheels have you tried the cloud wheel donuts be very interested to see down below i'm so happy that they gave this option for people with hub motors because for me personally, I just really like hub motors. I know a lot of people really like belt drive, but any of the problems that you're supposed to have with hub motors, I haven't had any problems with. And these are, as this is a very interesting product, I'm very interested to see how long they last. Based on that, we'll probably determine whether I buy these again, but I could already tell you, I do like the smoothness and I probably will buy these again. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think about cloud wheels. I'll be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace. So Josh, how you liking the cloud wheels? I'm loving them. You got them too. What do you think of them? <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, they're good. Love them. They're better than street wheels. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, no, no, my bad. Street wheels are sick in their own category. Yeah. But if you're looking for comfort, cloud wheels is way more comfortable.